We're welcoming back Joe Gavassi, NFL football analyst, and we're going to break down a game for tomorrow's playoff game on Saturday. Uh, Packers are going to Arizona, and as of right now, they're getting seven points. Now, keep in mind, all right, that game is more than 24 hours away, so that line may move. Um, Joe, this is a very interesting game. First and foremost, thanks for being back with us. Uh, I understand you like the Packers plus the seven as far as where it stands right now. Give us your reasoning and give us your breakdown. And I'm just wondering if playoff pedigree and experience plays into your decision here. So if you will, why the Packers? And do you think there's an outright chance at an outright win? Well, there's always a chance for an outright win. We know that from watching all the football we've watched. But remember, it was just three weeks ago when Green Bay visited Arizona, and it was death in the desert. 38-8, to eight, Arizona romped his quarterback, Rodgers, spent more time horizontal than vertical, and it didn't get much better for Green Bay when they returned home to face Minnesota for the NFC Central Division playoff title. They fell to the Vikings. It was the Vikings' only win of the whole year against a winning team. And the offensive line problems were perpetuated. In fact, they entered Washington last week in the first quarter, and things certainly didn't look any better when Rodgers was sacked for a safety in the first quarter. But in the last two and a half quarters of that game, Green Bay looked like an entirely different team, and Rodgers had that old confidence back on his face, as did the entire team. Now, I know it was only Washington. But I do think that that big, strong finish by Green Bay will be meaningful in this revenge outing against Arizona. For Arizona, that win and cover, that cover against Green Bay, was their only cover in their last six home games. In fact, after the Green Bay game, they would host Seattle, Seattle, a division rival who they had beaten earlier. And Seattle thumped Arizona 36-6. to can Arizona bounce back in this first playoff game? Well, of course they can. Is it probable they're going to beat a veteran playoff team like Green Bay by a margin? Maybe not. Got to side with the pack in this based on the momentum of last week and the fact that Arizona may still be doubting themselves after the way they closed the season. Now, Joe, do you think that it's possible, though, that, that, that they can pull a little bit, bit of that memory into their heads and realize, hey, wait, we manhandled this team weeks back. There's no reason we can do it again. And will they have the same type of defensive scheme set up to get to Rodgers? Because obviously he was flustered in that game. Um, I'm also, though, a big believer that last week did a whole lot for their confidence, especially Rodgers. Uh, but as w before we go here, do you think there's a chance that Arizona just may – pick something off of that last game, and then just stick right to it and possibly get this thing again. Let's flash back just one week to the Seattle-Minnesota game where Seattle absolutely thumped the Vikings the first time they played them. And, well, you saw what happened in the playoff game. I think it's more probable this will be a hard-fought game than an Arizona blowout. Okay, and that makes sense. You heard it, viewers. Take the Packers with the points. Joe Gavassi has not steered you wrong this year, and there's no reason he's going to start now. All right, Joe, thanks so much for being with us. Packers plus seven. I wish you all the best this weekend in beating the book, and look forward to having you back again with us real soon. My pleasure, as always, and good luck out there, guys.